welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. I am currently on my way to the hematologist. If you guys remember yesterday, there we go. If you guys remember yesterday, I told you that um, today I find out if the pulmonary embolism is gone for my lung. I'm really excited and I'm really hopeful. It is 9.30 a.m. here and I'm just heading over there and I'm in my husband's truck, if you can't tell. <laughs> he has um, a much nicer truck than I do. He has a Ford F-150 and I just have a little, uh, God, it's a, it's a really old Explorer because I just don't care about cars and things like that. I could just care less as long as it drives and has a nice radio. So he gets the nicer car, but I do enjoy driving his truck every now and then because he has heated seats. <laughs> so I wish mine did too. But yeah, that's it so far this morning. Uh, my husband is home with my daughter. He's working from home this morning um, and he's watching her while I run over here. So I will update you guys when I'm all out and let you know. Okay, y'all, I'm out of the hematologist and they're gone. I'm so excited that um, the pulmonary embolisms are gone. And notice I'm using a plural form now. Um, I didn't know this. So when I was in the hospital, um, when I had that x-ray on my lung, or the, when I had the CT scan on my lung for the, the nodule, the doctor just called me and he was like, you have a blood clot in your lung. And that's all he said. And it kind of just went from there. And everybody said, you have a blood clot in your lung. That's all they ever said. And I never really questioned it or I think I was just too scared. I don't know. I don't know why I didn't ask what lung it was in. I just didn't think about it. But today, when he told me they were gone, I was like, oh, you know, no one ever told me what lung the blood clot was in. Which lung is it in? And he was like, oh, uh, you had uh, two big blood clots in the main artery of each lung. And I'm like, wait, what? What? And he was like, yeah, you had two and, um, they were, they were big and that's why it was such a big deal. And I was like, no one told me like this whole time I was just thinking I only had one, but I guess it's on me for not asking more. So it is what it is. I'm just glad they're gone. I'm so so happy they were gone and so relieved. I was hoping they were gone because I was noticing that um, it was getting a lot easier for me to breathe. When you have a pulmonary embolism, just like walking around your house, you were completely out of breath. And so I was noticing that that wasn't happening as much. So I'm really excited about that. Happy they're gone. Um, I go back in three months and at that time we'll talk about either discontinuing the blood thinners all together or cutting the dose in half. I'm really hoping we can discontinue them because if you know anything about being a woman on blood thinners, it, it's not good. It's not good. It's not fun. So I'm really hoping that um, I could possibly go off. And also all the genetic testing that I have last time that I went to the hematologist came back negative. So that's also really great news. He said that this was probably just a freak thing caused by the surrogacy medications, the Lupron, the high fever, and the uh, birth control. So um, I'm just happy that this chapter of my life is closing and I hope that I never have to deal with this again because <laughs> it really, really sucked and it was really scary. Um, and I didn't even know the full extent of why it was so scary, but now it makes a lot more sense that all of these doctors kept telling me like, you're lucky to be alive, you should be dead. So, which if you're a doctor, don't tell that to people because that scared me. But I'm so happy about that. Um, so I thought, I thought I'd just update you guys and I did update on my Instagram as well. So um, everybody over there got to know it first. So if you want to um, keep updated with me more in real time, definitely follow me on Instagram. I'm really active on Insta stories, so. That's it for that. And then now um, I'm just going to go home and I need to clean the house really, really bad. So I may um, 
take you guys along with me for that. And then I need to get to editing because I have a lot of videos going up on this 12 days of Vlogmas. So I need to get them all edited and ready to go for you guys. But uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated as the day progresses. I'm all out of dishwasher detergent and instead of just running to the store and buying more like a logical person, I just washed all these dishes by hand. Why did I do that? <laughs> so I have cleaned a little bit and um, I've got dinner on the crock pot and my daughter is laying down for a nap. And while she does that, we'll see if she sleeps or not. I'm going to try and put away all this laundry that I was supposed to do yesterday. So let's get it going. So dinner tonight is crock pot, chicken, broccoli, cheddar soup. I really just threw a bunch of ingredients in here and hoped for the best and it is super delicious. So I'm gonna work on it a little bit more and then if I can get it honed down really well, I will do a recipe video on it for you guys. So I am now just settling in for the night for work and I've got my soup and it looks so good. I'm really excited about it and it tastes really delicious too. So I'll talk with you guys again when I'm done with work. Okay guys, I'm all done with work for the evening and I've showered, as you can tell, my hair is all wet. Um, but in this vlog, I just thought I would share with you guys my hair care routine because someone asked on one of my last videos. It's really, really, really simple. I should probably do more, but I just don't care enough. So. Uh, to wash my hair, I just use this Dove Intensive Repair Shampoo and Conditioner, and that's all I use for that. And then once a week or once every other week, I just put some coconut oil in my hair and let that sit for a while and wash it out. And then um, when I get out of the shower, I use as a Santa sticker on it, but it's Aussie Hair Insurance Leave-In Conditioner, and I just spray this all over my hair, really focusing on the ends. And I use a wide tooth comb. And then I usually go to sleep with it wet because when I was a kid, I always went to sleep with my hair wet and it's just so relaxing for me. So, plus my daughter broke my blow dryer. So I just go to bed with it wet and then I wake up in the morning and I curl it. So that's it for my hair care routine. Like I said, it's really, really simple. Um, and I usually get my hair cut once every three months. I know you should do it more. You should do it more. But um, that's it for today's vlog. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. And I hope you guys are enjoying Vlogmas so far. And if you like these type of vlogs, make sure and give this video a thumbs up. As well as hit subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.